Daddy Robux here, and today we are continuing our playthrough of the Princes of the Apocalypse. Uh, story so far uh, is the party has been investigating the cult activities around the Deseran Valley, and they had got themselves captured by the cult of Black Earth. They spared the party's lives, but they took them down into the Black Earth mines, where they intended to subjugate them and make them their captives. And it is at the, at the end of last session, our party was able to escape, although not without cost, as uh, Clementine has sadly lost her life. And that is where we are picking up today. The party is trying to escape from the Black Earth Mines now, and they are carrying Clementine's body with them back to town to give her a proper burial and or uh, attempt to resurrect her. So... You know, they know what's coming. Do they? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty. So, starting here. <laughs> Just swinging around the arm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are still within the mines. We haven't traveled far at all. What would you guys like to do? Hello, Gangrene. How you doing? Um. I probably need my notes. That, uh, here it is. Let's see. Do we have any idea of which direction we should go? No, you do not. <laughs> do we see a path that the, the other prisoners took to try and leave? Like, well, before, they, does it look more? They went in every direction, they've been scattered. Right. They went, they went running forward which you see is a twisting maze of corridors. You'd think it'd be very easy to become lost in the mine tunnels. Uh, there was also a door inside of the guard room that you guys, or actually two doors in the guard room that you guys had opted not to explore. So, I mean, there there are options. We know not to go east from here since that's where we came from unless we want to go back to the guard door. Mm. Does anyone remember what was, like, did we even consider going through the doors or uh, I think it was ominously pr proposed by our DM hey yeah totally check those doors out as okay. if we did we would die I'm a sort of scenario guy what do you yeah, mean yeah yeah totally. <laughs> <be> more behind <laughs> totally. I was just trying to help you out look there's right. doors he was just letting us know hey there's that's right. There are options. Maybe, maybe it's important. <laughs> maybe we should put an ear up to the door and be like, who's behind there? Uh, there's a person who's... What the... Hey, hey, little one. Hey! hey. <laughs> you, you've been here longer than I, us. So yeah, I, yeah, but, you know, I, I've, 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 I've just... I'm so traumatized. You're traumatized? I'm, I'm so traumatized. I pull yeah. up and I hold up the arm. You're traumatized, huh? Well, I, I, fair. God. I didn't even get through it. That's funny. <laughs> Put it on my belt. Go up to her and just kind of smack her awake. Hey, wake up. Oh, you know the arm. Oh, that I faint again. <laughs> someone else wake this one up. I don't think we should leave her. Well, maybe we can. I don't know. Probably not leave her. Stop acting traumatized I'm before a... we give you a reason to act traumatized. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've just been here a long time and this is the first time I've ever stepped out with no guards around me. And if anybody I'm confused, sure no. since Clementine You've been died, here a long time, her you might be able to tell us. Of a commoner to use for I the think session. Wait. really, really hard. Um, uh, the the little NPC and what does she remember? Uh, well, you wouldn't really know. Um, the guards always lead you to your place, um, and they they leave you blindfolded as you move through the mines, so that you would be completely disoriented and uh, have less likelihood of being able to escape. Uh, you've also never entered into the guards room. So you are just as confused on which way to exit as the rest of the party. Okay, I Sounds relay everything this, or everything. 
So do we want to go back to the guard room and check the doors? I'm, my rampage is kind of over at this point. I mean, I'm still pretty upset, but... I mean, I mean, we, we could. I don't... I don't quite... I, I, mean, don't, I don't know. I mean, y'all are more equipped than I am. I'm just a little... little old farm girl. Little peasant. Um, and... Arthur is gonna try licking his finger while these people are talking and then just standing in the middle of this intersection and holding it up <laughs> and trying to just see if there's any breeze coming from anywhere that is a good idea and I commend you for having it but unfortunately we are underground and you remember sure. having to travel down a steep flight of steps in order to get here so sure. there is uh, no wind no movement in the air Arthur just nods and then goes back towards people. <laughs> I mean, we can we can go see if there's anything in the guard room that could help us real quick, you know? Well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't hurt to try, I suppose. The voice in my head is telling me go back to that guard room and at least listen to what like try to put you near up to the door and hear what's on the other side. Not necessarily open it. Like, if it sounds ominous, don't open it. Just okay. in case. But, like... Sure. Let's make it quick, because it's yeah, not... Yeah, we gotta... Fresh. We gotta figure out what's Ball's going not. on. Yeah, no, currently, you guys have a bit of an advantage. It doesn't seem like any of the other guards have realized that something is amiss. Yet. But as soon as the, the first of the escaped uh, commoners makes it to the upper level, you're in trouble. So we yeah, have to decide I quickly. I guess we should have... Doors, doors, uh, I'm doors. just going to delete Clementine's token, and we'll assume that, that Jack is dragging it everywhere with him. That's fair. Don't okay, uh, about managing it. I guess I'll listen at this door. Okay. Does anybody have a lot? I can't see a thing in here. Oh. Uh, I'm emitting <laughs> light. Uh, listening to either of the doors, you hear nothing. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll fling the door open. Why not? Let's see. Got you back. Okay. Good. Opening the door, you see another intersection. Once again, the tunnels seem to sprawl outward to the east and west. There's another short hallway that dead ends with another door. I guess I'll open my door too since there was nothing. Uh, sure. Or should I wait? No, I'll, I'll. The other door, you see a set of stairs that spirals upward into the mountain. Can you ping the map? Re I have to reload. Thank you. It's even better. <laughs> Well, these are stairs that go up. Should we go up? Yes. Sounds like a good start. Hey, Don. All right. How good. you doing? Anyone but me lead the way. Uh oh. I think he's. I moving. can't. I can't get past the. I can't get past the door. Oh no. thought should we be moving stealthily just in case yeah, sure problem. hey we don't I, i'm being precautionary well you're asking a different question see the question oh. you're asking stop moving oh, are we huh. ah you're free are we where'd you guys yeah. go <laughs> they there. went up the stairs to the level up above yeah we should probably be moving with some bit of stealth Alright. I think um, I'm gonna run spring. Because we're currently in spring and it's thematic. We got a door. I guess. For... Okay. So we're. Or do I need the perception check at the door? No. no, no, no. Uh, listening at the door, you can hear a quite number of, of voices raised an alarm, followed by footsteps moving through the hall. I think 
Something Can silly. you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, hopefully it's going to behave itself. And Mr. This... Warbucks is muted. It's scary. <laughs> if I'm <laughs> muted, I'm talking to the stream. <laughs> I know. I, uh, I, I I know that. Yeah, I apologize for that. I don't know what happened. Just everything went quiet, and when people would talk, it was broken up, and it's like, uh, I don't know what was going on. Sounds like your headset is acting up. You have to give Possibly. it a second. Um, all right, uh, it's Jack, as you press your ear to the door, you hear a number uh, of voices raised in alarm and and uh, hurried footsteps that rush up and down the halls. Uh, can I guess at how many with that check? Or did you? Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see there was actually a check. I was just giving you information. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> You can you can unmistakably make out six footprints. Well, guys, uh, there's six or so people beyond this door, and we're we're not doing so hot. Not so hot. That would be a good good. Um, after a moment, the footfalls subside. It's quiet, and uh, you can hear them heading off down to. Uh, they seem to go through uh, another door, as you can unmistakably hear, and open and shut. And then you can hear them going further away, heading to the west. Heading to the west, okay. Uh, I guess uh, I will open this door and not go west. Not go west. Okay. Yeah, just want to see what's I'm, outside. I'm going to just start. Oh, crap. <laughs> um, oh, I actually have some things on this character. You do. Uh, you are. So you um, open the door and you can see uh, you kind of step out gingerly into the hall. You look around uh, trying to determine if it's safe. You can see the two doors directly below you, where you can assume that that this party has just moved to. You can also see two rooms, both the doors left open in the hurry. Uh, one room, you can see there are several barrels um, and what looks to be like a wine rack stacked with with you know dozens of bottles. Uh, the other room to the south, you can see a straw mat covers the floor, and there are racks along the walls with several weapons and several like clay dummies that are positioned against the wall showing it to be some kind of training quarters you can also see that the hallway extends down to the east and that there is a uh another stairwell to the north that heads back down um we don't want to we don't want to go down so i'm not i'm not for there at that hallway but um, is, is this, uh, open? Is or I'm door? Sorry. One at a time? Sorry. Uh, Being well location, what is that? That's, that's the, the room we just, I just described to you. Straw no, this, mat this on the little floor. square down on the bottom. That's what a window. That? A window! Yay! <laughs> yes, it's, it's about a exit. foot and a half in diameter. Uh, more of just a slit with uh, some clear glass. Can we smash uh, the glass and leave? How far it's a uh, foot, above the ground do we It's a look foot like? wide. <laughs> oh. How far off the ground do we... How far off the ground are you? Yeah, like from the window, like, does it look like we're on a second floor or a third floor? You're on the first floor. Okay. Uh, actually, um, when you guys approached, you know that there is not a second floor. It's all single story. Okay. Uh, can we, when we look out the window, do we recognize the location we're looking out on? Yeah, it's the front of the Sacred Stone Monastery. Okay. Um, what's what's the lighting like in this level of the uh, dungeon? Well, there there is no light. Remember all the masks. Uh, all the monks were blinded. Oh, you were downstairs. You might not have remembered this or seen this. Uh, but the Sacred Stone monks, they, they have tremor sense. 
and they uh, don't rely on their eyes to see. So there is no light other than what would come through the window. Oh, hmm. wow. Okay. Um, do I hear anything on the other side of this door? You do not. Do not? Do not. Oh, I'm sorry, you cut that. Okay. Uh, I will open it. All right. Opening the door, you can see another small hallway with a door to your right and one d further down the hall to your left. As you look to the door to the right, the one that you know leads to the outside, you have a disheartening sight in front of you. It seems that the cult of Black Earth, uh, in an effort to try and stop all of their captives from escaping, have used their mastery over stone and earth to create giant barricades over the exit. The door is almost completely removed as stone columns block it, uh, uh, almost in a, a bar-like pattern preventing any means of escape. How thick are the columns? Oh, let's say they're like two and a half in diameter. So there would be two of them next to each other and they almost entirely block out the five foot width of the door. Wow. Is the door still there behind it? The door is still there behind it. It's just blocked by these columns. I say we just, I said we just, you know, just jump out the window. It seems like a safer. Uh, and, um, uh, window. I might not be able to fit through the window, but okay. you folks should get on. I don't think we have any no, small size. No, like we do not. Nobody would be able to fit through the window. <laughs> All right. Does uh, do you want to? Hey, uh, Arthur, you want to help me out? See if we can try and pull these columns out of the way. Arthur would look at the two and a half foot thick columns of stone. The two and a half feet thick? I thought two and a half. No. <laughs> no, they, they <laughs> entirely block the door. <laughs> it's two and a half feet, and two and a half feet is five feet. Okay. Arthur, I, a little I bit crooked in the back, it's like, I think you're what, overly estimate my abilities, sir. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible to use your weapons to chisel away at it? It would make a lot of noise. I could try, but yeah, I agree. That's more of a lack of sword. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Are, uh, do any of the girls look skinny enough? Like maybe this peasant girl, is she skinny enough to fit through? No. Whatever? You can squeeze, as a medium sized creature, you can squeeze through a, an opening that is three feet wide. But, mm. I mean, one foot wide is, is simply too small. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess we have to find another exit. Or do we want to try and go to the front door? I mean, if we recognize where, do you think maybe the front door might be close nearby to the west? Maybe. It's just hoping that they, the people, will then go the same. Yeah. Or, I. I think it's like a secondary door because the front doors were like what big or yeah the, the front door was a double set of doors oh okay sorry dumb moment oh, yeah. maybe there's a back door in the stream <laughs> right uh, okay do we want to check this door over here to the Uh, or do we want to try and make a break to the front? I think to the front is might sadly might be our best option, but also probably the most dangerous option. Uh, the... As yeah, as ahead. you approach this door, you can see that the the wood of the door seems uh, dilapidated. The the wood splintered in places, and uh, as uh, as you approach. You can hear someone muttering on the other side. The door I'm at? The one that Jack is at. I don't actually know where you are. Oh, I was, <laughs> oh yes. Space, says Jack. Okay. Someone, I think, uh, Clem was on top of you. Not Clem. Do we... You're not Clem. <laughs> <laughs> Do we... Who's Clem? Okay, someone's muttering. Do we know what language? 
Uh, I don't know. What, uh... What languages do you speak? And, mm, oh. Primordial, common. Mm, you don't recognize it. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> Uh, I know uh, Elvish. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, if Jace doesn't know it, I, I don't think anybody does. Because you're a sage, aren't you? No. no. Soldier. Oh. Okay. And looking at the last sheet. Nope, nobody yeah. knows this language. No one knows the language. <laughs> you can tell it's very uh, strange, though. It's unlike anything you've heard before. It's Elvish, isn't it? It's Nilmish! <laughs> uh, does it sound distressed, at least? Does the voice sound distressed? Not distressed. Annoyed. If you were to pick up a tone on what you hear, it sounds very much like annoyance. Mm. Does the door seem locked from the outside or the inside? Oh, it's not locked at all. Uh, it, oh. It's barely closed. Do you want to oh. take a peek through the cracks and see what it is? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to open it. <laughs> you, you know, you peek through the cracks and you see a room that it seems to be mostly destroyed. But, uh, you know, you can't get a clear line of sight to the occupant of the room. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to open the door. Okay. So you open the door and as... Uh, as Casey has so adequately predicted, Sorry, the door squeaks and squeals as it is in disrepair. And as you open the door, you see a room mostly in ruins. Um, the room here is obviously much older than the rest of the monastery. And you can see that there are several tables arranged without that are fitted as a laboratory with work tables covered in al alchemical apparatuses and shelves full of storage. Um, the windows have been bricked up, cobwebs hang thick on the ceiling, and you see an ancient figure that's kind of studying a uh, heavy tome bent over one of the nearby tables. And as the door squeals, it turns in your direction, and you have a horrifying sight in front of you. As you can see, the flesh is nearly rotted off of its face and it is uh just a skull <laughs> with greenish blackish flesh that's barely clinging to it and he extends a finger in your direction <gasps> why have you come into my part of the of the castle we're uh, looking for a means of a, a departure from this monastery if you could silence <sighs> You promised you would not enter here. You Black Earth have violated our agreement. I'm not of the Black Earth. I have had enough of your insolence. If you cannot respect my domain, you will be banished. Run, run, run. Okay. Can does that mean he'll teleport me away? Can we run? He, he clicks his teeth and he looks at you. I just, I just want to leave. Can you Not tell of me the how Black to Earth? Me? No, I, I want to leave Oops. the monastery, please. If you know what way to leave, I would Silence. be most he, he whispers and he rushes up close to you. Okay. Yes. If you are not of the Black Earth, why have you come here? Um, we're investigating the cult. And For what purpose? The and they're causing a lot of problems around the area. I don't know if you've noticed. You know, all their the business is there. not my own. I yeah. do not meddle in their affairs, and they have promised yeah. not to meddle in mine. They're meddling in yours. You see, they've attracted a lot is, of attention here. They're attracting attention, and you know, if they continue to do that, then you'll have a lot of people who might accidentally stumble across whatever it is that you're doing that you'd like to keep right. 
I am not doing anything that requires privacy. It is just I appreciate my seclusion. Seclusion that you have interrupted. And once again, he, he levels his finger, pointing it directly at your forehead. And you get the, the impression that this is a threat. Yes. Give a me threat. a reason I shouldn't end your existence now. Well, is there something I can do to help you? What? You seem to be... You're, you're in this room. Is there something I can do to help you? strange in all my time since I had turned never has anyone offered me even the slightest bit of kindness does the blue one speak for all of you yes yes yes, yes. Wait, don't be that to you. and be willing to help you if it means us getting out of here Safely. Yes. Huh. He kind of sits back on the table, resting uh, against the, uh, the, the, the rotting wood. I, I don't know how to respond. I have never needed anything since... It's been so long to be treated like a person. He kind of looks. How long has it been since you've heard a song? He he looks at you and, uh -huh. and he snaps his fingers, and as he does, a uh, he's going to cast a spell. Uh oh. Uh, that ain't right. <laughs> Uh, the spell he casts is I... silence. I think we're. What did he cast? Silence. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. He definitely doesn't want to hear your song. <laughs> okay, I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but he looks at you, he looks at all of you. Are. You... Why are you running from the cult? Uh, Aside from them imprisoning us? We were beaten up pretty badly. They were going to put us to use in their minds, but we broke out. And now we need to leave to kind of recuperate a little bit. And uh, They also killed one of our friends. You know. Right. They killed one of our friends, and I pull out the arm. This is part of her. And... Aren't we also taking her body with us? Yeah, I have her body behind me. <laughs> you um. have shown me a small kindness that I don't deserve in this state. Come in. Enter quick. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> he walks behind you and shuts the door. The Black Earth are not so foolish as to tread upon my domain. He walks back over to his book. You can rest here. I Thank will you. protect you. Thank you. Shouldn't we hurry back to, you know, get your friend revived or? And to say we're in, we, we want to make it far. He, yeah, he, yeah, he turns sure. and looks at you. Ah! It is necromancy you seek. I may be something of an expert. Uh, uh, we graciously uh, appreciate, appreciate the offer, but the offer. you bring her back to her original form or, no offense, but a undead form? We do not wish her to bring be brought back into undeath. Uh, we would want a reincarnation or raised dead sort of spell to be enacted. 
<laughs> Do you think that is outside of my power? By no, no means no. do I expect to say. Just cautious. He he gestures to the table behind him. Lay her there. All right, I do. He he puts his hands on the table in front of him. Long ago, I was a hero of some renown within this region. Our order was the Knights of Samular. We fought bravely in the Troll Wars. But my brother thirsted for arcane knowledge. And during a battle where I fell, he fed me a potion and forced me into lichdom. He wanted to save me, but he perverted my existence. It has been difficult. I had forgotten who I was hundreds of years ago. I remember what it means to be good. And he walks over and he he reaches out I will need that uh, I hand over the arm he, he lays it on, on the table uh, where the arm meets the body and uh, he starts pulling out a series of of black candles and surrounding the corpse. I will need time to prepare the ritual. Of course. Take as much time as you need, sir. I will get out of your way. If there's anything you need, just let us know. Until then, I might take a small nap. <laughs> yeah. Are we... Doing a short rest. If that's what you'd like to do. Very much so. <laughs> do yeah. we have enough time for a long rest or just a short rest? If that's what you'd like to do. Uh, the Lich has guaranteed you his protection. Alright, let's do a long <laughs> rest. Let's do a long rest. Yeah, no. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm, you know, I've got my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. 7 HP or whatever. <laughs> Actually, yeah. this uh, this human elf marks person has got some tricks up her sleeve. Well, Arthur is down for whatever you guys are down for. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the long rest. Yeah, same, I'm fine same with very the long much. Rest. It's on the ground, rest my eyes for a second, completely pass out on the like, head, rest against the rock, and just start snoring. <laughs> Arthur just dusts off whatever piece of rubble's behind him here. Hopefully it's not a stack of books or anything. It just kind of leans his head up against the wall and sleeps lightly. Okay. Uh, so you guys are taking a long rest, just kind of sitting around within the chamber. And as you do, um, you can see the the lich continues to place things on the table next to Clementine's body. First, he, he lays the black candles. Then uh, he, he reaches inside of his cloak and he pulls out a small wooden box. And when he opens it, it looks like it's full of ash. And, and he reaches inside and he takes it and he starts to smear it along her arm up past the wound where it had been severed. Uh, after that, he takes out a dagger and he cuts his own hand and you can see this blackish sludge, almost the consistency of sap uh, drips out over her body, which he then begins to rub in with the ash. My magics are unconventional 
but powerful. Your friend will be restored. It will take her some time to recover from the ordeal, but I can bring her back to you. And then he stops. And this is where we discuss payment. What do you require? Name your price. Anything to get her back. I don't know about anything, but... Hey. Oh, okay, well, 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 let's hear the man first. <laughs> I require a number of things. Number one, it is too long that I was complicit in the goings-on of the Black Earth. I did not deal with them directly, but I didn't stop them either and gave them sanctuary within my home. I want them gone. When are we getting married? Hey, Den, thank you for the resub, man. I don't know, whatever you want. I prefer a fall wedding myself. You want them gone. Gone. Expelled from here. We can certainly attempt that. We are, honestly, we were actually were attempting that before we got captured. Well, I can also supply you with whatever I have here to assist you in this matter. But, and he raises a second finger. I have resolved that I would not be responsible for the loss of a life long ago. You may not kill any of the cultists. So, Wait. knock them unconscious, all right. Number three. My life has been long, and it has been very, very tiring. He sizes you up and down. As you are now, you are not powerful enough. But one day, you must give me your word. <gasps> Come back here, into my home. Destroy me. I cannot guarantee at that time I will remember your face. But no, this is what I want. All right. So, uh, remove the cult without killing them. And come back at a later time and kill you. Is this correct? He holds out his hand. The one still bleeding from the ritual with Clem. I hold out my hand, kind of confused looking, because I don't know what he wants. <laughs> if you agree hand. to these terms, we shake. We seal this deal, and I, I will make this an arcane pact. If you do not return here, you will be cursed. Shake, shake, what? Will be shaking. Hands. Hands. I start shaking my hand in front of him. Is this <laughs> what we mean? I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm not familiar with traditions of land folk. Um. He grabs your hand and starts shaking it. Oh, that's what you mean. Fair, fair enough. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Yes, I, I shake back. All right. He turns his back to you now, focusing his attention back on Clementine's corpse. He, he reaches into his cloak one more time, this time removing a sizable diamond. It's probably the size of a quarter. He takes it out and he sets it like right on her neck, like uh, at the clavicle. He outstretches his hands, and uh, you all at once there is a blinding flash of light, or more accurately, uh, it, it's it's almost as if darkness comes emanating outward, blinding you for a moment, 
And then when you look back, uh, the diamond is gone. Along with the ash and, and all the other objects he had placed on the table. You, Clementine's arm has been restored. And although she hasn't woken up, you can see her chest rise and fall as she is re resumed breathing. She appears to be completely healed, except the arm that had been severed before. It is now completely black from the tip of her fingers up to where the wound had existed. Mm -hmm. By the gods. That may be <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, uh... He points to it. This mark. A reminder of our covenant. And know that in addition to any other horrors I will bestow upon you if you fail to meet my terms, she will die. Okay. All right. He, he walks away. And you see him go to the other table where the book was and he reaches underneath and pulls out a wooden crate as uh, he starts pulling out various curios and, and tomes um, he starts setting out several objects uh, a potion of greater healing mm. like Jack should have that being her tank a potion of hill giant strength Ooh. a spell scroll of invisibility and a spell scroll of snillox snowball swarm in case you guys don't know what that is <laughs> then lastly he pulls out uh, one more object it looks like a golden chain, but on it is the symbol of Tear. And he holds it out to Jack. You have entered into this pact with me. <gasps> Take this, a gift for you. I go and take it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what is your con currently? Uh, 18. Hooray! <laughs> you get one more! <laughs> well, you don't have to use it. <laughs> I, uh... I... He, he looks at you give it to her maybe it will help keep her from death yeah i give it i put it on clem's body so that she can uh, be more beefy more beefy i don't want her to die again i would hate to have to use her arm for another fight <laughs> hey, uh, uh, it might be more reasonable. if it happened again uh, it might be a magical weapon Art, um, do you, Art, do you want this potion of hill giant strength? So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause for a second. So if I slap somebody, would that be magical? No, no. I was okay, joking. dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, Arthur, did you want this potion of hill giant strength? What does it do? Really oh, well, wow. for, too much about Looks like it makes you pretty strong for a chunk of time. Arthur uh, probably like looks at himself, like kind of sizes himself up, and he's, yeah, yeah, I'll take it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Not that I, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> right. Maybe you don't drink it immediately, but keep it on your person. That might be him. Sure. He'll just kind of nod. He's definitely look shook it by all these events that have just right. transpired. And 
the two spell scrolls was invisibility and snowball snow. swarm. Yep, yep. I'm actually not seeing that in our list. Uh, we have spell scroll, but that's it. I don't know. It, it's somewhere in your journal because I shared it with you. I don't know yeah. where. Oh, Appendix B spells. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, Arthur just kind of looks at this now breathing body, kind of looking around the room, eyeing what everybody else's reactions are, but he's shocked. Doesn't know what As to he's think. Definitely crying tears of joy now. Magic is uh, an amazing thing, Arthur. And with that, I just go and sit back down and continue my rest. I guess she just let her rest and hope she wakes up well. And she's going to kind of sit by the table. <laughs> yeah, I'll sit with you. I guess I should put Clem on the map, huh? Oh, I get more. I get more health, don't I? Yes, you do. Uh, what was your con before? Seventeen. It was plus two. Uh, so it would be. Oh no, it was yeah. So you're gonna get two HP per level. So an extra. Oops. Yep. No, you're level four. Yeah. Sweet. Oh wait, no, that's uh not where I needed to add that. There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, also, now for the bad part. Uh, Clem, as you sit up and, and kind of try to reorient yourself, um, your vision swims, and you feel quite nauseated. Coming back from the dead is quite an ordeal, and you feel like it may be a while before your uh, your your body and your soul are back in su in sync. <sighs> <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> um, what, Nancy? I'm I'm. You're you're okay. I'm okay. What what happened? And. Clem just starts looking around and she's she uh, you know looks at her friends beside her and she looks over at this group over here and she's like how did, Good to how, see did, again. how did you who what it, I imagine then she that? turns around and <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not dead anymore. Did you, did you do this? Did you, did you revive me? I yeah. did. Can, can Clem stand up? Sure. Yeah, she's going to stand up and she's going to wobble over. No, no, to him. don't touch. No, I, I, I just, I, thank you. I, I was she like kind of tears up a little bit and she's like thank you no you don't understand don't touch I'm, me i'm not touching you i'm looking at you with my eyeballs and i just want to say thank you for okay you can okay i okay wait uh, he, what happens if she touches to you just i he, Don't he, wanna know. he looks down and you can see that there is a, a rat scurrying in the rubble and he takes a single finger and he like very slowly and de deliberately moves downward and just boops it. He just touches it. And you can see that as soon as his skin makes contact, the poor little thing, uh, you know, writhes in pain and falls over. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I, I didn't give you a hug, but I just 
I just want to say thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, what what is what is your name? I'm Cl I'm Clementine. Renwick. Renwick. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Renwick. Oh, uh, is there anything I can do for you? Like you you spit? I imagine this wasn't cheap. We what made it, what it deal with him already. And and Clem, you know, she's gonna look around and then she's gonna look at her arm and realize it's like her arm and her hand are completely black, and she's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> Am I? You are collateral. Uh, I have done you and your friends a service, and they have agreed to my terms. If they do not uphold their end of the bargain, your life is forfeit. Clementine will nod slowly, and she'll turn back to her friends, and she'll be like, and she'll say, you know, thank you. I, if it was the best choice that you had, then I, I'm in your debt too, and I appreciate it. It's okay that we had to go to such things, and you, I mean, are any of you affected by it? Like, or is it just me? You should rest for now, Clementine. It ain't that important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. I just. And Clementine is going to actually come over here to Sid and Nezzy and just give them the big, the biggest of hugs, and be like, "I'm." Oh, and she's gonna at this point, she's probably gonna break down a little bit. She's Aww. like, "I'm so sorry that I failed you. You didn't I, fail I, us. I, we're still in this place. I can feel it, and you know, we're just. I, I feel like I just, I failed you both. I, I failed." You're the bravest person I know. Jack pipes. Uh, how does your arm feel? <laughs> uh, it's it's uh it's <laughs> hanging in there, and she's gonna like hold it up and just kind of dangle it, you know. It's hanging in there. It's... Mm. Oh, that came gosh. in handy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really did come in handy. Oh my, keep keeping it wide. I appreciate. Jack. <laughs> And Glenn's gonna put a put her her black hand on the sin shoulder and be like, "It's okay. I don't mind because it's her main hand." Uh, well, just the, a lot to do. The yeah. ritual yeah. for a resurrection only takes about an hour. So, assuming. That he, he resurrects Clem and then you guys continue uh, with your long rest. If you if you just wait around another hour, then Clem could also benefit from the long rest. Sure. Let's wait around. Let's do that. Yep. Yeah. And since uh, Renwick has guaranteed your safety, there's I mean there's no reason not to. Sweet. At some point during this hour. Um... I think Arthur would take time to bond with his weapon and create that bond. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Clementine's gonna walk over to Jack Marius and she's going to look at her or look at him and be like, "Did you? What? What really happened? What we are the killed, terms? We killed the people that killed you. No, I. And she she's gonna give him a." big ol' hug, of course, and she's gonna put her hands on his shoulders and be like, I know you did that, but what are what are the terms of... and she looks at her oh. hand her... Oh, that's, um... What do we need to do? Like, I mean, I know he didn't do this just by the kindness of his heart. Oh, yes. Um, well... Uh, we need to uh, get the cult out of this uh, building... Uh, we can't kill them, though. Uh, we just need to knock them all out, and I guess drag them outside. And I guess we can kill them outside. I would, I would assume. No, I, sure. I don't think that. Like, I don't but, think that's a good idea. No, not uh, long rest I minus an hour. And I'm allowed to state that that's what we need. They're the resting for, the for a total of nine and hours. Then when we get stronger, one hour we need for to come the ritual, here and, and then eight hours for the rest. Okay. Hey, Mr. Redwick, if we bring them outside the cultists, it, 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 okay, so 
they can't die at all, but can they die outside of this area? He he turns and he looks at you, and as he does, you can see that his eyes uh, have literal fire coming out of the sockets. No! Okay. Okay. You okay. are not going to cause any more bloodshed on account of me. Okay, I, I do apologize. I will I was trying not to get to the condone the loss of any life on my property. Okay, okay. I apologize. I was just trying to get to the get to the nitty gritty, you know, the, the the details. There we go. The details. Um, and she's gonna look back to Jack and thank you. You know, I think she's gonna give him another hug, and this time a little longer, and she's gonna be like. You didn't have to come to these terms and to go through all these links, but thank you. No, I did. I and, appreciate uh, it. I'll have to tell you the story of your arm when we get somewhere safer. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. All and right. yeah, she's going to come back over here to to the kiddos and just, just kind of rest with them. <laughs> All right, so you guys are just kind of uh, sitting around, sleeping, resting. Eventually, Renwick, uh, during the entire duration, he kind of stands at one of the windows, staring out. He turns in your direction. I think it's been long enough. All righty. Okay. Uh, would you have any advice on the best way of getting them out? He, he doesn't even turn from the window. He just shakes his head. Anyone else have any any ideas? I think it's best if we talk in the hall, just so that way we're not overstaying our welcome. Um, Fair enough. real Benwick, one quick moment, real fast, so we don't interrupt you again. Uh, this door to the south. Where does that lead? Or to the north? The, the door, door to the north. Or where the does stairs? Because there's stairs that lead down there. Which one? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, you cut out on me. I didn't hear what you said. The, the door or the, the stairs? The door to the north. I meant to say the door to the north here. It leads out into a garden. It's walled and completely within the structure. Mm. So not an exit. No. Um, but it might be a, a, a nice place to um, leave. Sink. Yeah. Okay, um, I'll bid him adieu. Uh, I don't think we should go south into the hallway, but north into the garden. Is there another exit out of the garden, Renwick? Wait, this is the way to the garden, correct? I thought this was the way to the garden. The door to the north goes into the garden. So this one. That's the only door there. Wait, is this a window? Where? You're looking at a window. Is that a window? <laughs> no, that's a door to the south. He was talking about the door uh, to the north. Okay. From okay. where I was standing. What? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this chair, that was it. We do have a decision, though, folks. Once we get in there, we'll make one. Uh, I listen at the door. Do I hear anything? No. Okay, I will open. Okay, opening the door, you find yourself in a, uh, a garden, just as, as you were told it would be. And this garden, um, it, it has a 12 foot wall that surrounds it on every side. There is a door uh, in the corner of the garden that you see would lead out of the monastery also has been walled over um there are the, most of the garden is overgrown uh the brush and the leaves here are kind of just um running wild and there's a very poorly maintained like footpath that goes through everything and you can see a number of statues right it's unusual because there are six in total um and these statues they 
they look like various uh, humanoids, right? You see, uh, you see a, a human man holding a bow. Um, you see uh, a dwarf with a battle axe raised over his head. Um, you you can see a tabaxi um, in like a a position, like it's ready to pounce, and so on and so forth. There's all these different races and and creatures represented. <laughs> But all of them have the same expression of horror on their face. As if they had seen something truly terrifying. Um, can I... Is there something we can check to see what might have caused them to be this way? Uh, well, you can do a history check. Mm, okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. Well, you know that there are several uh, several things that are known that can uh, petrify a person. Basilisks. Um, there are certain spells. I love you, the Daddy Medusa. Robots. So hey, Daddy. You know that Happy there are Nine there are things that that can do this, but support. it's impossible to tell what exactly. PB and J, thank All you, right. man. Nine months. What's our baby? Um, all right, Does we're, we're having like a baby. What's the name? In this area with us, like, are there tracks on the ground that would indicate another beast, non-humanoid? In and that area? would be another check. Nature okay, survival. Sure. All right, I'll give you a survival. Check. Wow. Hmm. Well, <laughs> you look around, and there's all kinds of uh, of uh, tracks on the ground. It looks like uh, the monks come through here, here frequently. But it's impossible to tell when or how many, or if there's any uh, if there's any non-humanoid tracks within all all the others. All right, guys. Um, and uh, this is a courtyard. Is it daytime, nighttime? It's midday. Because I'm getting no light in the area. Uh, it's walled. Ha. Huh? That's because there's no there's no light here. Hey, what do you want? Light so that I can see. There there's nothing here. Just move. <laughs> okay. Like I've said it three times. It's empty. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, just a bunch of spoopy statues. So, all right. So, so uh, what do we want to do with the bodies of the people we knock out? I mean, we we want to. Hide them away from people. I mean, that you're are... the man who made the deal. Shouldn't you have the answers? <laughs> <laughs> I also I didn't know all on it. shake, so I wanted some, you know, opinions. I, I look at Clementine like you guys have the weirdest traditions of shake hands. I mean, that's weird. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I. Uh, Fine. We need to. This might be a good spot if we can to drag bodies back to and bind them. That way they're out of the way when the monks. We won't alert people prematurely, is my, go my goal. We can get through here, maybe room by room clear. Hope we'll be able to do this. Damn question. Is it possible to knock out enemies with magic? Or it, does, it can only be physical. Uh, well, if, if you mean like a non-lethal attack, that is a unique ruling for melee attacks. If it's a melee spell attack, uh, you can do non-lethal. But if it's a ranged spell or a uh, ranged attack, you... I mean, how do you pull your punch with an arrow? Mm. Like... Arrow to the knee? No, D and D doesn't have <laughs> a system like for call shots. With, with the whole like not killing and things like all oh, my spells are designed to kill. Well, then you hit them first. Once, <laughs> once, once they are visibly wounded, maybe then uh, you like prioritize different. Else. I don't know. Why am I telling you what to do? This is your puzzle to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Arthur just like takes out like. 50 feet of coil rope that he had in his pack and just like kind of holds it and says listen I I get that we had to make the deal but 
this is all I've got. I don't know how much you guys have. And I don't know how many things, cultists or whatever, more half orc, you know, goblin or whatever, you know, uh, ogres are down there. I don't know how we expect to get all these people out of here, out of this place, not just subdued, but out of this place. With we, he did say just the cult don't need to die. He didn't say anything about the orcs or anything like that. He just said just the so. Yeah, but orcs he really are also doesn't cultists. Want any deaths? And they're also cultists in court. Too. And if we do kill anyone. Then Clem dies again because we broke the promise. Yeah. Do we really want to? I mean, we can go back and ask. With the with the <laughs> entity like that, like pointing back at him. So, go back and ask him. Hey, can we kill the orcs and the in the you know? I'm pretty sure any sentient being doesn't he doesn't want killed. I know orcs are stupid, yeah, but the, they're the, still sentient. The problem isn't killing cultists. It's he doesn't want bloodshed. Yeah. He, he was a righteous and just man in life, and now that he remembers that, he, he doesn't want there to be any unnecessary deaths. Man. We can ask nicely. <laughs> can we please kill them? <laughs> no, can we please I mean, ask the cultists to leave. Can you <laughs> please just leave? Like, go cult somewhere else? You never know just how murder hobo -y your party is until you tell them they're not allowed to kill things. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we kill stuff? <laughs> but then how are we supposed to do it? <laughs> I know Sid I mean, really wants to murder each and every one of them because imprisonment. <laughs> I'm sorry. When we were looking at the lich earlier, that he didn't he didn't look like an elf, did he? He looked like a human. He looks uh, like a lich. You don't know. <laughs> I mean, what what characteristics would define an elf? Uh, well, I'm trying. You said he was good in some way, shape, or form, and it sparked something meta-wise, and so that's why I was. Wondering. So it's not an important question. Okay. I was just curious. For me, not for the person. Maybe I there's didn't. something. Maybe there's something in this building we can use to scare them away. I got it. We sew a costume of a big dragon and we chase him around. Oh my goodness, that's perfect. <laughs> Why did I think of that before? <laughs> I'm not sure if we have the time to do that. <laughs> or materials. Unless you have a bunch of fabric and sewing a sewing kit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. It might not be a bad idea though to What's um? What do we see through this window? What do you see through that window? Yeah. Oh, there is a window there. It's like a. Yeah, it's oh, a. A dining room. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. It's something's well, since, in there. Since we we're, we're just having this whole conversation outside this window. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Did you see that? Let me just roll a perception check to see if the people inside the room would have noticed. Oh, passive Shit. 14 is pretty. That's pretty high. Where I had my right. camera sitting with the one of my icons for blocking the token. Uh, Shit. look. Looking <laughs> in the window, you can see that it looks like two monks sitting at a table eating uh, soup. They're completely oblivious to you guys outside the window. Okay. Everyone, stay quiet. Sneak past the window. Well, we need a. You know. Wait. Are these the blind monks that we that we're seeing? All the monks are blind. Yeah, they can sense. They can sense stuff. Mm. Go after these people. And do what? Um, Ask them to please leave. They're not gonna leave. I know. It's not over. I tried. Um, do we want to depart and then come back when we're stronger? Is that what I'm getting from you? I don't know. Can we even do that, or would that be breaking our promise? We didn't mm -hmm. ask when he wants the cultists out. True. 
He didn't give you a timeline. He did not. Hmm. Play with it. Aha! <laughs> because if we think, isn't the Emerald Enclave supposed to be in town? Maybe yeah. they could help us a little bit with this that is and true. not the non-killing. If they're willing to try to come in here, no, but they not killing. No, but they didn't. Isn't one of their things to kill whoever's in the way of making peace with the elements? Never mind. Well, that is true, but I'm sure if we, you know, tell them what's up, like, hey, if you kill them, I'm gonna die or some stuff, and well, maybe they end up. Does that not um, matter of how to get out? We could. That's where I'm at. Um, we'll probably need to figure out a way out. How you said the walls were twelve feet tall? Yes. I should run and jump up the top of that. I do have a question. Um, did he say in what specific order what needs to be done? No. Like, did he did he say it needs to be done in a? We he have to. Not. I mean, we could kill him first and see if I, you know. We cannot kill him. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know not right now. List, <laughs> the cult to kill. You can enlist the cult to kill him and then pick off any survivors of the cult. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't think it works that way. Also, Jack, are you planning about scaling the wall and looking around? Yeah, so I should be able to jump to the top of it. It's only could, twelve. Possibly a city. Okay. If you can make it to the top, I could use spider climb and follow you. That way, entirely alone. Okay. Bye bye. I've also got jumped. <laughs> Why are you leaving? <laughs> so I was like, well, maybe exploring the outside of the building could help us find a better exit. Yeah, if we jump, if I jump to the top of the wall and like put a rope up, people might be able to climb up and we can leave. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Then we can All come right. back. That's a better means. Well, I we guess. Come uh, back when what's we're your strength score? Uh, 18. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't even need to make a check. Do you just want to do that? Yeah. All right. So Jack runs up, grabs the the edge of the ledge, pulls himself up, and is now standing on the top of the wall. I wouldn't be like upright. I'd probably be crouched a little. As well, Go as on, you make it to the top of the wall, you see Clementine begins to gasp for air, falling Ooh. over to her knees, and a voice Ooh. booms in your mind. Do you renege on our deal already? Jack, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. No, I heard him. Okay, I we heard have to him. get rid of him first. I, uh, I do, do I, what do I see at the top of the wall? Do I see anything? It's just in... a vast, it, it's, you're in the hills, man. You see mountainside. <laughs> what do you yeah, want? I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I jump back down. Just because I'm breathing again. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> he lets go of his force choke. <laughs> okay, okay, can't leave until they're out. <laughs> Fuck. <Yes. laughs> Looks like we got two monks to knock unconscious. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just I lost lost my breath there for a little bit. I don't know what happened. He's uh. Because the voice was only in his head, right? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Alright, so... Uh, yeah. Do we really want to go around and knock out each person individually? What other option do you have? Because remember the last time we had a mass fight? Uh... That's the reason, uh... Oh, uh... Clam, how powerful is your beast shape? Like, what's the biggest thing you can turn into? Um... That is a good question. Is there what is something the you can thing? use to intimidate? Oh, uh, let me check my sources real quick and think real hard. <clears throat> Google. <laughs> Let's just use Jack's big beefy form to intimidate. Because one or two, maybe, but the more shows up, just up don't know how many are here. Seven. I can turn into uh, a I think the biggest thing that I can turn into right now is a black bear or a war horse 
<laughs> Ooh, scary <laughs> horse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, I could, yeah, you know, drag all their bodies around and stuff. If we find, like, a little carriage, I can, you know, trot around as a little war horse. Because I know they can carry a whole lot. We have an obligation to do. Right now, there are two in this room. I guess we'll start with that. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, sh uh, I'm gonna shillelagh. I got your back. Okay. Alright. So. And for flavor, can I say, like, my sh uh, my shillelagh thing, since I have it in my black hand, it also turns, like, the wood sort of turns, like, a charcoal black. Sure. Sweet! Opening the door, you see a small flight of steps that leads to a landing to a familiar hall. How mm. thin is this class? Wait a minute. Like, how but, easy would it be to... Nah, let's not do that. We still can't so squeeze this, the crap bodies through. This door right here, that wasn't the door want to from the... I squeeze my body through. I want to see if I can get a spell from through. From downstairs, was it? What door from downstairs? Like, this one right next to me. That isn't the door down to the... To no, the, that's the mine. corner. Okay. If, you, if you walk five feet forward, you'll see the door that leads downstairs. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, this is it. You guys ready? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, you open the door. Yeah. They're staring right at you. Ah! Roll initiative. Yay. Oh, whoops. I did not click on my thing, did I? No. Darn it. Do, on your do I have a negative three to that? Like, do I just... Oh, what happened to the lady? Where she? Where'd she go? She ran away. She's oh, scared. No. You guys are talking. I threw her over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dust. Thank you Wait, much no, for that. she was Appreciate there too. You. She was in that bed. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> she just dies. <laughs> so. Like, be free, and I throw her over the wall. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho, is everybody in the tracker? One, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, not five. Clementine. I'm sorry, but I do have a question. So every roll I have to do, like everything. So it's uh, twelve for me. Yep. Okay. You did it. Thank you, took. Add turn. Oh, there we go. And then Jack, it looks like you're up first. Rage. Oh no. <laughs> uh, great weapon master, go up to this first guy, swing with the blunt end, not the cutting edge of my weapon to make it a bludgeoning attack. Mm -hmm. uh, reckless. And great weapon master too. You gonna throw that in there? I am. Nineteen. Yeah. Yep. And he's unconscious. Cool. <laughs> that doesn't count as a kill though, so I don't think I get my bonus action attack. You do not know. Okay, but I will move Wait, right up on well, this. What guy. does great weapon master say? Does it uh, say kill a creature or reduce a creature to zero hit points? When you reduce a creature to zero see. hit points. Yeah. Okay, I guess I get it. All yeah. right. I'll. Well, I already used my bonus action to rage. You <laughs> did. You did. Truth. All right. So, uh, sorry about that. Nizzy. Well, I can't see anyone, so I'm just going to inch to where I can possibly see in the doorway. Bad decision, I know, but I'm going to vicious mockery. Wait, can I reach? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just hey, he's like 30 push. feet away from you. Okay. I'm going to Vicious Mockery the one that's not unconscious. Okay. And then... Wisdom. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to scooch out of the doorway. Monks are very wise. Who knew? <laughs> uh, Ace. So you said we can use melee magic to and pull our punk. Mm-hmm. Any any melee attack, whether it's a melee spell attack or otherwise, uh, you can choose to do non-lethal. The only rules is written. The only sp 
specific the only thing that it specifies it has to be a melee attack anything else you can't do a non-lethal good let's non-melee taser this guy <laughs> it's just <laughs> set phasers to stun <laughs> that's a hit <laughs> or set Then? I have no idea what to do because everything I have is lethal. Do you have a melee one? Oh, sorry. I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I have my staff. I could technically, I guess, smack one with. Just hit him with the blast. He's he's not bloodied yet. He's fine. Five. I don't see here. If I can't get my character to move. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay, so I can see. I guess I'll hit... No, that one's unconscious already, so... I'll hit them hit him with an Elders Blast. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid to! I am literally terrified to! <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit! <laughs> did it uh, kill him? <laughs> that blast did not include your Charisma mod. So it should be nine. Uh, and no, it did not kill him. But now he looks very wounded. I was ever thought of maybe something I could do if we accidentally kill someone, but I'm not sure how well it would work. Clem? 5, 10, 15, 20. You're moving through friendlies. It's double. Oh, okay. you're absolutely right. Oh, um, 25. Well. 25 right there. Or, yep. Well, dang, I can't hit it with my shillelagh, and I don't want to kill him, so I'm just going to stand over here-ish, and then pull up my black hand. Or wait, no, he's, he's blind, so I can't really intimidate him. I'm just going to shoot what can I do. <laughs> um... It's so hard not to kill. I know, I know. I'm just gonna, I guess, stick my tongue out at him. You know, I can't do anything. <laughs> I can hold, I can hold an action to see, like, if he tries to run away. Yeah. I'm gonna hold him, hold an action to try to like grapple or maybe hit him. Can okay, hold an action if he comes close. I'm smack him with my quarter staff. All right, so now it's the monk's turn. And the one monk that's still alive. He takes his hands, he throws them out to either side, then he brings them back in in front of his chest in almost like a steepled motion, and then he turns around, putting his back to Jack, and he hits the wall, open fist. And as he does, you hear this loud, reverberating boom. Oh, shit. That's what he does with his turn. And... Arthur. Oh, uh, yeah. Arthur knows what just happened. Or at least he <laughs> thinks he knows what just... The consequences of what just happened. But he's going to move through Sin passive. Pardon me. And uh, <laughs> I think that's 15 there. Assessing the situation really quick. This guy's knocked out. We got this guy over here. Ah, oh, shit. Doesn't have enough movement to get over there. There's no other doors in here. Okay. He's going to go back out. <laughs> He's going to go back out. <laughs> There's... <laughs> There's nothing to do in here. These guys got it. All right. Yeah. So 25, 30, and he's going to ready an attack action. Okay. On any enemies that come near him. Okay. One moment, Jack, because I'm going to reorder. There we go. All right, Jack. All right. I'm just going to recklessly attack that great weapon. Uh, try and bludgeon this guy down. Yeah, I'm just going to automatically assume all melee attacks are non-lethal. Okay. So you're good. 
And down he goes. And then... Assuming we're still in initiative order, because reinforcements. Yeah, um... I don't think I can leave. Um, I can't get to here without... Or with Sin and... Sorry, so, you don't block the door. 20. You can move diagonally. You don't have to move okay. through your space. All right, then I'll move to this position here. Okay. 25. Nezzy. What's going on? I'm sorry. Back is uh, bad stuff. Bad stuff. Okay. The the two uh, monks are unconscious, but. We know that the one sounded a, a sort of alarm, sending a shockwave through the stone and making a lot of noise. Okay. What can I do, I guess? I'm just going to store away a vicious mockery. Ready a vicious mockery. You got yep. it. Sin? Uh... I want to mention the idea that I wonder if people, what do you think, would it be breaking the rules of what the uh, Lich stated if I used Spare the Dying on someone we killed, or if it's, do you think as soon as someone dies? Spare the I Dying even... doesn't stop someone from, wouldn't help if you already killed them. Mm. Remember, NPCs do not make death saves. They, True. When they reach zero, they are dead, unless you didn't kill them. Yeah. I think that's gonna be the case. Uh, I guess I'll just I'll ready and I'll just blast. Well, that's all I'll do. All right. I'll hold it and I'll just blast. Jace. Ugh, so I can't step there. So I'll oh. step here. Just to make it easier on people, I'm just gonna say I moved here on my turn. <laughs> just to make it a little easier on people. Okay. Uh, um. That will end my turn. No action? No, sir. Do you want to hold anything? <laughs> no, because it'll all be lethal. Clementine. Um. Clementine, you swear you just saw someone walk past the window to the north. Uh, I relay this information, um, and I know that this is uh, from, you know, directional and stuff like that and just being outside in the garden that's the garden correct yep all right i'm gonna come out here and relay this information and be like look i got a couple spells that'll slow them down and that'll hurt them and we can all just pick them off one by one as they come in mm -hmm. i think that would be that might be a strategy that we could use could be could be so what is what is your action for the turn um shoot i'm gonna come out here and just let me read one of my spells real quick see the oh wait no spike growth is that huge freaking thing uh sin oh hmm? your held action I guess someone has helps. moved into your site It's a hit. So let me check Nezzy. Nezzy can't see. There was no held action there. Okay. Uh, next. Monks. What? You hear doors opening from the south. Same direction as you had heard that large party earlier. Oh, shit. Hey, Nezzy, you had a held action? I did. Well, now's the time to use it. Alrighty. Oh, shit. Shoot, shoot. Sorry. <laughs> All right, vicious mockery on a uh, dude. And it's the not dude work wise. is oh. oh, yep. Not that wise. <laughs> <laughs> they are mocked. Yay. Now, so far they have all moved for turn. 
Would uh, I get my held attack action? Sure. Yep, he moved into melee range. Cool. Uh, would would I be able to do green flame blade, blade as part of that? And all you that, said you readied an attack, not a spell. I'm sure, sorry. sorry. I wasn't specific enough. My bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, no worries. No worries okay. at all. Just a Cur chop. That's a miss. Oof. All right. So monk number one, the only one in melee range, they can actually take an action, and they will. Attacking Nezi with disadvantage because of her own uh, vicious mockery. Thirteen? Uh, it hits. <laughs> 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 Alright. So, you're gonna take five and then he doubles back for a second punch and misses. Uh, the other three monks, this one will move up, hiding around the corner. The other two both take the dodge action. And then, Arthur, it is your turn. Oh, man. It's not Coming from good. both sides. What kind of sick, sick person would do this? This ain't looking good, boys. <laughs> and uh, he will just uh, cast Green Flame Blade on his uh, Warhammer, okay. ironically. And, <laughs> and, uh, and attack this guy here. And uh, let's hope it hits this hmm. time. And not kill him. 16 is a hit. I think. Alright, he's shooting for non lethal damage here. And uh, the three fires to his mm -hmm. partner there behind him. So six to the first guy. He is visibly wounded. Three Good. to the second. Good. He was also really hurt. He will move uh, here, here. Just kind of like defensive stance, and that's it. Jack. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, good. This looks fun. <laughs> uh, Jack moves around the corner, and in addition to the two Black Earth guards that, that you had seen through the window, there's also the Black Earth priest, the one who had knocked you guys out the first time you came through. Oh. Briggle Scrabble. <laughs> I can't kill them. Um, I am blocking this door. I just realized that's a good thing. Uh, you know, at this point, that's probably fine. <laughs> I'm going to take the dodge action. You you realize they can still move past you? What? Moving How? Diagonally. They can move diagonally through? Oh, um. Then never mind, I guess I will attack the guy next yeah, to me. Yeah, attack! <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, yeah, Reckless Great Weapon Master in the sky. I don't think a 14 hits him, though. No, sir. Alright, Nezzy. Alright. I'm gonna pull out my rapier and, uh, unlethally attack this one. That hit. Yep. <laughs> He's still alive. Still alive. <laughs> bad Not man, lethal bad. indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Sin? Uh I think I'm gonna actually use a level two a level two spell slot to cast armor of Agathist. Oh, Alright. Right. So at, at level two, that's what ten temporary hit points and uh, ten cold ten damage when hit? If they hit me. Okay. Yep. All right. I like it. Uh, Jace. All righty. I will step to here. Took a picture. Oh. <laughs> it made me very paranoid. <laughs> you guys heard it, right? <laughs> Shocking <laughs> grass. Uh, that would be a hit, but the monk will use its reaction for the round to parry the blow. Um, and that, that will be my turn. <laughs> All right, the priest will take his turn. He says, "Ha! How did you escape? I thought I've dealt with you once before." And your guards suck. Jack. They're all dead for it. 
Jack, uh, slow down. Oh, shit. That's the wisdom save? I believe so, yes. Okay. All right. And what is... Oh, I didn't well, it's higher than four. four. <laughs> Feel bad with uh, for Jace with that parry. Jace, you have inspiration, courtesy of of the gods viewing your endeavors uh okay so you are slowed we'll represent okay. that with a boot minus two ac and deck saves i uh, can't use your reactions and either a action or a bonus action but not both okay. sad yeah. now it's clementine's turn it is all right clem is going to use um Bark skin on Nezzy as a action. Mm -hmm. So she has 16 AC. Yep. And that's that's. Are, action. are you a willing creature, Nezzy? You are you? Having, are you <laughs> having your skin turn to the likeness of uh, <laughs> chipped bark would be quite frightening, I'd imagine. <laughs> She'll just turn to Club and be like, "Am I cute?" You, you are the cutest little tree woman. Um, and I can't use a bonus action uh, spell spell unless yes, it's can. a cantrip. Yes, you can. well, unless it's a cantrip, right? You have it. Okay, so I can't use healing spirit, which is a yeah. level two spell. New. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. No, yeah. Clementine is just gonna do that and and uh, uh, keep yeah. in mind for next just... turn since we were talking about spirit. Bark bark skin is concentration, so is spirit. Oh, it is. Shoot. Well. All right. The Black Earth Guards. They are well, Jack. Uh, yes, I could move past you, but I feel like that'd be doing you a disservice, as you are intentionally trying to block the door. So let's just uh. Let's pummel Jack. Okay. Did you reckless? I did. All right. Two melee attacks each. Okay. Bam. Yeah. Bam. 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 So three of the four. Three of the four hit. Three of the four. Okay. So we have eighteen nine damage to you, then five damage, then five. Okay. Well, that was that's easy enough. Nineteen total. You guys just see Jack getting the snot beat out of him. You see me take a bunch of it. Huh. I'm not really that. All right, then the Sacred Stone Monks. Uh, we're going to move up into position. And Nezzy is making herself quite the nuisance. So I think now would be the appropriate time to use this right here. Uh. Oh. <laughs> That is a nat 20, Giant gifted to dice. me from the gods. So I'm going to attack you, and it's going to crit. <laughs> oh, oh, no. All right, here we go, Nezzy. Are you ready for this? Pow! Oh, no. it's a nat 20. Uh, and you're going to take <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. And then the there, second... Because the wolf, uh, the bark skin. Yeah, the 12 doesn't hit me. No, that's oh, I just rolled it for the damage roll because it's a crit. Damage. Oh. Yeah. Now here is the second attack, <laughs> which oh, which is a hit because sixteen. Please. <laughs> that monk, no. he he had your number. <laughs> All right, and then uh, Arthur, how you doing? Well, this guy is gonna come up here to say hey to Jace. The other two are gonna attack the old man. As soon as I find their sheet, it's here somewhere. All right, Jace. One, two, 15 for six. Uh, are these against Arthur or, or me? No, Jace. Sorry, sorry, Jace. And then here comes the four for Arthur. Hit for five. Miss, miss, miss. Punch in the miss. face like last time. Actually, the uh, 18 doesn't hit either. Oh, 18 doesn't hit? Cool. And then Arthur, you're up. Yeah. Arthur uh, gets some pretty 
brutal blows against the shield there will uh, turn around and uh, just bring a big old war hammer down on uh, this dude right behind him and uh, a green flame blade him. And uh, yeah, we'll see how much that does. Okay. That is a hit. It's Beautiful. a good thing you did it the way you did. Because hitting that one, he goes unconscious. And then the flames nice. jumps over here, and he takes three. If you had done it the other way, he would have died. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was intending to do. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, I think I will action surge. No, no, never mind. I will not. I will not action search. Never. Mind. Okay. That is the enemy. Jack. Jack's gonna sit tight back here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a non-reckless attack because I gotta hold the line, and uh, I got my one attack. So, sure, I'll I'll uh I'll swing at this guy next to me. He's just Okay. Right here. And miss. Mm hmm. End of your turn. Repeat and, the wisdom. Uh, wisdom. Nope. Nezzy is down. Death save, please. Hmm? Death save. Oh. <laughs> At least he was in one. Sin? Moving forward. Spare the dying on Nezzy. Stabilizer. <laughs> Jace. All right. This dude here. Let's tase him. Let's not tase him. Actually, 14 is a hit. Um, I figured he'd do his. Blah. I mean, I, I can make him. <laughs> just just take. Just take the W. <laughs> and no, unfortunately, he doesn't go down. Okay. Alrighty, and that will be it for right now. No bonus action? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> the priest walks up. Uh, that doesn't matter. You can't take reactions. He walks up and uh, should, I be, should I be a bastard? Uh, we're gonna attack Jack. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's both it. All right. Take that. Flip. Okay. All righty, Clem. Is there any way that I can like? just stand on, like, over Nesby or something. And... Sure. Okay. I give consent. This... Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, just kind of put feet on the other side of her body. And can I smack this guy with my shillelagh to... He rolled it, Arthur. He failed. Do what? I'm talking to Arthur. Oh. Oof. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna try to smack him with my shillelagh uh, quarter staff. Alrighty. With one hand as my action. Fourteen. Uh, Non-lethal, of course. Well, Gotta say now that. he will use his reaction. <laughs> okay, and then bonus action. I'm gonna use healing spirit. Hit him back there. Okay. So this ends and... the bark skin. Yep. And bark remind me again what okay. your wisdom it, is. It help me. And I need a template. I mean. Let's do blue circle five. Only if you plan on moving it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm not, but you know, it's it's there. Makes some blue. Okay. The black earth Makes guards. Uh, 
the first one is going to attack a jack. Yep. And he is going to bash it. Oh, ow. Go ahead. And bash it. Second one misses. That misses. Second guy. Yes. Hits one, misses the other. So I get to five total? Three, four, five. Yep. And then... Uh, next... does, how much did I get from the healing spirit? You, uh, you gain three. three. Yeah. Two. All right. And Sacred Stone Monks, we have three that are still awake. I'm going to move this guy just out of the way because he's unconscious. Um, did he step away? He's unconscious. Oh. Boo. When he when he fell, he bounced. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy, now these these monks, they are no dummies, uh, and he clearly hears you, you know, muttering the incantation for the spell, and he recognizes you uh, for as a spellcaster. So he's going to turn around and he's going to punch you in the face. No, he is not. Try again. Oh, no. Bam! Oh, oh. <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> Never. Take ten? Maybe I will. Wait, does that save or not? Well, yeah. But, I mean, you need to subtract it from your health because the, the game will auto-roll. See? Alright. Oh. Second monk. Gonna do it again. Here you go, Clem. Fifteen for seven. Does not hit. I have a no! shield. How about this one? Nope, that doesn't nope. do it either. <laughs> I deflect it with my wooden shield. All right, and the last Nature guy continuing mother. his assault against Arthur. Uh, okay. <laughs> hit. Well, no, yeah, that'll hit. Yeah, she, you can't uh, shield it. <laughs> uh, and then Arthur, you're up. Thanks for the follow, right, Goat King. Um, Seven real quick. Okay, uh, let's see. This guy is moving up here. I think Arthur is just going to smack this guy behind him really hard with a green flame blade. He's just going to turn around. I mean, he's already facing that way. Probably why he got a crit on him. He's just going to smack <laughs> him really hard with his warhammer. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll, that'll knock right, him out. All right, let's see it. On lethal damage with green flame blade and I could hit so this guy unconscious this guy taking three beautiful and then he will uh, I think he will move uh, no he'll stay right where he's at alright Jack Jack alright uh, Jack will move here away from the door. I do get the six at the start of my turn, or the 1d6 at the start of my turn, mm -hmm. right? You want me to roll it? Mm -hmm. Uh, please. Please. Thank you. And I'm gonna attack this guy, because he's concentrating on something, and I want him <laughs> to stop. That's right. Jack is a pretty smart guy. He can recognize the caster. Let's give him a boppin. All right. Um, we play it the same way in this game, Giz. Uh, with the suggested all recklessly from, Ca Why from Crawford, where uh, healing <laughs> spell only weapon proc it. a number of times to do twice things. the wisdom. Let's line. see what. Twenty-one. Let's 21 go. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. So. <laughs> So 26 hey. damage. Let's Heck see. If, yeah. Let's see if they make the save. Nope. Nope. Slow is gone, which All means right. you crit them this turn. <laughs> Might as well try again. Might as well try again on the same. 19. Does 19 oh. do it? He's dead. No, he's unconscious. Oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like I, I'm gonna hit Gasp you with this earth-shattering <laughs> blow, but it's not gonna kill you. 
<laughs> I, when, I, when my axe struck, I swear I heard the crunch of bones, and I can see a bit of your brain over there. But he's alive. It's... <laughs> <laughs> He'll be fine. That's fair. He's only... <laughs> We're Jack looks them. down at his We're severed here. head. Jack looks down at his severed head. He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Nezzy, that another death save. Didn't oh, oh, I swear to dying. dying. Oh, right. I'm sorry. So Nezzy is stable. Safe. He's stable. Uh, is there, who's in front of me? Jason, Nezzy? Oh, uh, Jason. Okay. And Clem? Uh, Arthur's somewhere up here. I guess I'm just going to. Uh, uh, just no, Florg. NPCs don't get that safe. Step saves. past Jace and use my staff to melee attack. One here. Like non lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Sin hey, in medium wow. range. Hey. Okay. Wow, it's a hit. <laughs> yeah, I shot two. <laughs> and a decent amount of damage at that. All right. Uh, finished after that. Can I attack with my melee and then do a cantrip? No. Okay. I mean, I if so. you have a bonus action, you could do a bonus oh, action. Never I don't, mind. You don't. No, I don't think I have a bonus action cantrip. All right, uh, Jace. That would make sense. I'm not going to make me act. All right, one more time for the taser uh, on this fine gentleman here. Shocking grass has been putting in work. I know. Uh, we're not going to risk the death, so we will. You <laughs> Always on your turn. Uh, we will pay. Yeah. All right, so because I'm super cute, I'll quit picking another shocking grab. That is pretty. Isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a hit for seven. Ooh, he's still up. And then I will step away. Yes, for but that's not an EK. Just... That's that's a warlock. <laughs> I, I, I know. Oh, shit. I just thought of something that could bite me in the Clem? Alright, since Clem has a negative three. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I'm going to. Could I, like, possibly just step to the side and bonus healing word Nezzy? Yeah. Hmm. But then this dude would attack her right afterwards. So you know what? Possibly. I'm going to stay right here. And I'm going to go into my fungal... My own little fungal rage. Voice. Standing over Nezzy's body. Because I am pissed. <laughs> and why is my character sheet... Okay, there we go. And she... I can't really do anything as a bonus act. Except healing where... You know what? Um, I'm gonna healing word, uh, old boy over here. But I got you, Nazi. I got you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm standing, I'm standing over you. So Who is they old boy? Old boy, old Arthur. Okay, Me, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So old healing for word for Arthur. A whopping six. And what's your action? Uh, my action was. Oh, um, wild shape. Got you. Uh, uh fungal. Yep, 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 uh, you guys are getting too complacent. You have a party member laying on the ground. And she's been there most of the fight. So I'm going to give you a kick in the right direction. Uh, it would have advantage because she's prone. Thank you. 14 versus AC, Nezzy? I don't... 14 hits. <laughs> All right. Take a failed oh, Wait, save. I don't, like, block it or anything? No. <laughs> you, don't, oh. you don't form a oh. barrier. <laughs> Oh, okay. I just I thought. I, but I, now she is know. dying again. <laughs> Yay! No. <laughs> hey, Lich, we're gonna need another, you know. <laughs> and then, and then uh, they're gonna follow up the the kick to Nezzy's head with an uppercut to uh, to Clementine. Oh, nope, that's a miss. 
Uh, cultist number two down here with Arthur. Uh, he's gonna loop around and attack Sin. Hello, Sin! Bam! Bam! Uh, Armor bag at this. He takes 10 points of damage when he hits me. Oh, he, he hit you twice. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. He's not dead. They have 22 health. <laughs> but if he had been hit already. <laughs> So I take how much? Uh, that's 11? 10. 10. I actually I accidentally rolled a third. Oh, that was an 11. Yeah, he, he 18 for 5 and 18 for 5 on the second swing, too. Thank God for temp HP, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Arthur. Arthur turns around. The lady and just fucking green flame blade like green flames wrapping around the stone war hammer he's wielding and just smacks the dude that's right next to Clementine. Boy. Hopefully the flames reach over onto the guy next to him. Non-lethal of course. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm going to show you something. Uh, how they look in so, they... as I alter their tokens, you should be able to see their hit point values. Kind of just barely. Hold on. Let me zoom in. When you click on them, you'll see that they have a 2 and a 3. <gasps> so, no well... matter which way you attacked it, one of them goes it's unconscious. Tough. The other one is... Oh, dead. I can't control both? I can't, like, like non-lethal no, both? How do you how do you stop fire from incinerating someone? I mean, I figured it was my magic. We, I, I didn't we know even that. talked about if that I, earlier. Oh, right? Well. We, how we, you were fortunate that you melee attacked the guy with the low health? Yeah, okay. All <laughs> right. Well, my bad, I guess. That had he known, but... In my absent mindedness, I guess so. So my bad guys. <laughs> so this one, this one drops, right? And uh, Arthur's like, Shh. he's like, yeah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. The the floor begins to rumble, and you you can hear a growl erupting from the other room. <laughs> Save Dang. him! What do you do? What do you mean? What do I do? Can it's I your turn. What are you reaction? doing? I have no idea. I'm down the stairs from these guys. I'm getting HP and I'm attacking the guys non-lethally. There you Come go. Sports. You're attacking. So I'm doing I don't what really I want to do anything. But could have I used a reaction to see if I could have stopped that? No, you can't. What reaction would you have used? <laughs> Recklessly great weapon master of the guy next to me. 16? Miss. I thought. These guys are beefier. Nezzy is still down. And dying. Uh, wait, why one? That should be two? I only succeeded one. Oh, okay. I, for, I don't know why my brain thought it was a fail. So we currently... We have one fails, or two fails, one save. Correct. Good. All right. Uh, Sin. Not good. Uh, shit. I still got another, well, one's dead. And Clem. She. Or... I didn't hear what you said. You were breaking up. I guess uh, I'll cast uh, Spear the Dying on Nezzy again. Again? <laughs> again. <laughs> Yay, cantrips! <laughs> We're just gonna have to kick her again. Uh, <laughs> I'm upstanding! <laughs> Jace? Near her. Takes the hint. 
<laughs> Whatever so, do you mean? I, 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 you know, thinking about this and, uh, hey. I mean, that. that's, or not for Glenn, but for Nez. Yay. You know, Spare the dying the just pauses them. Being lazy. <laughs> which means she should be dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's me. Cool. Clem. Um, what's, what's going on? Like, Oh, no. You said that the earth was shaken, mm -hmm. and that's all. For now. So I still have a little bit of time. So Clem is gonna run over here, and uh, as she sees Nezzy is up, and she's going to say, "I'm so sorry. I, I, I thought I, you know, could block it, but uh, what is wrong with my character sheet?" Oh. There we go. Um, my last second slot, um, a cure wounds at level two on uh, Jack. I look at her. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's my last level two slot. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. <laughs> Why are you talking about spell slots? That's what uh, he means. I mean, what he means. Uh, I just, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was, it was a mental thing. I was thinking it, and um, it's my all? turn. Okay. Uh, dude, there's, hey, look, there's a lady here. Hey, y'all, hey, how you Clem, doing? Let me take four. Sweet. Tickles. Waiting for you to take damage before I swing again. Oh, uh, I have temporary hit points. I deducted. You s okay, well then you'll need to make a manual. Wait, where, where are the temp hit points? The red box is empty. Oh, I've been doing everything in my thing. I'm sorry. Uh, I got 12. There we go. All right, uh, on save. You're absolutely right. Bash misses. All right, Jack. Bash, mash. Take. Get okay, one hit for two. Yeah. You. Hit, what do you? Oh mean? wait, no, two hits. I did it recklessly. Yeah. yeah second, so it's second hit. So. Yeah. <laughs> you take five. Got it. That's significantly That's different. Okay. Uh, the monks are unconscious, so it's Arthur's turn. Um, Arthur, realizing what he's done and feeling the shake in the earth, dives down onto one knee, puts an arm around this poor monk's neck as if it was a lover that he just lost. He's like, <laughs> Don't you die on me, damn it! And like, Smacks him in the face a couple times. <laughs> I'm like, I bring him back to consciousness. He looks at the other. He's like, "We have to save him." Just doesn't know what to do. Like weapons on the ground, shield on the ground. Like just holding this poor blind monk in his arms. Like we have to save him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's his turn probably. Okay. <laughs> Jack? Jack is going to keep doing what he's doing and try and great weapon master these guys behind here. Yeah, Hopefully he'll hit eventually. Rep weapon recklessly attacking. Nope. Okay. Even without great weapon, I probably wouldn't have missed that. Or wouldn't hit that, so it's all right. Uh, Nizzy. Okay. Question. Answer. Can I use cure wounds, healing word, all that good stuff on... On... 
Like the dead one. No. Once again, Fraggle NPCs Fraggle. do not roll death saves. When they are reduced to zero, they are dead. So you would need I, a I Revivify or a Raise Dead to bring him back. Which I don't have. Friggle Fraggle. Friggle Fraggle. Let's see. I can kind of see that one. So I'm just going to Vicious Mockery it. That one. Okay. Uh, this is on the guard. Yes. It's best. All right. That is it. That is all I can do. Uh, okay. Uh, Finn. Uh, hey, Sin. As it is your yeah. turn, mm -hmm. uh, you can see billowing out from the tunnel below where Arthur is standing, the greenish fog seems to be moving moving outward towards the group. It's coming for Clam. He's coming for Clam. I'm going to go towards the fog. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> uh, can Clem listen and be like, and like, yell, no, don't do that? Uh, I don't know what to do sure. right now. <laughs> like, she's going to yell very loud, don't come over here, like, move towards us. Like, no, don't, don't do that, little one. Just, just yeah. come on. All right, I move here, feeling like, just like it's all. I'm gonna cast the scorching ray at those two. I'm gonna use my last level two, two at the first guy and one at the second guy. Are you okay? From where you're standing, they'll have uh, cover as they're around the the corner there. Oh, are they? You can it's only a... you can only half see them. They have cover. Mm. Okay, I didn't know that mattered or not. Mm -hmm. uh, how far did I move here? So, that's here. 5, 10, 15, 20. I don't know I can get closer. I guess I'll just disadvantage Elder's Blast this it, one. It's not disadvantage, they just they have oh. a bonus to their AC. Oh, wait, the one on their AC? Um. Actually, wait. I don't think Scorching Ray is... Uh, it's an attack uh, roll. Okay. Oh, it's like, yeah, I was thinking of something else. Yeah, I'm still going to do that. I'm going to attempt it. All right. So it'll be a three on a second, or one on the second. Oh, shit. That'll hit him. And so will that. Holy crap. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> going on tonight <laughs> so that's <laughs> with cover their AC was 20 so it's that's 17 on this one and they're not all three going to the oh, same one no um two is going to the first one and one's going to the sec uh, the, so the 24 so the six is going to one guy and then a oh, fuck ton is going to the first one LANGUAGE! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Nice. 27? Oh, God. We'll step to here, but it looks like there's people on the other side of the wall. I'm... That's not good. good. Well, good news is I can't do lethal damage to them. Uh, I will assume... Uh, my good buddy Jack here is just getting pummeled, so I'll reach out and touch him. Thank you. I'll step back next. 
Okay. Uh, so cure wounds on Jack, and you're staying you in the it. hall. Got it. Yeah, can't really get out. Then? Until the smoke or the fog arrives. All right. This dude's just bloody dressed. Mm-hmm. Okay. You do a melee attack. Okay. I think I'll... What does it matter? I think... What? What? What am I... What? What was that whisper? I... What? Why does it matter? <laughs> I mean, am I gonna... How do I, how do I feel? Like, do, is it just this fog that's coming? You see this giant green poisonous fog rolling in on all sides. It'll probably overtake you within the next sec couple seconds. Smack this guy right there. Try to knock him out. Okay. If I can find it, there we go. Non lethal Emon, do you? Uh, eight is a miss. <laughs> oh no, you're next to Jack, sure. Next to Jack. So it's a crit. Yeah, I crit. Well, 13 is not enough to put him out. How much each? A lot. Uh, the guards are, they see the smoke coming in. They're gonna do the sensible thing and run. They, Do I get attacked? If you want, but I don't think that's what's important right now. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur. Uh, I miss. Is the uh, poison on me yet? It's right next to you. To anyone who sees. Arthur looks back at the group and gives a respectful nod. No. No. And then he no. takes a deep breath. Get over here right now. And is going to charge headfirst into this fog. I've. Oh. Well, ten, you can just stop right there because do, wait, this wait. does not require you to breathe. Fuck! Simply be. Shit, fuck. Come on! Simply being oh, no. inside the cloud kill is enough to uh, to cause you harm. Con save or twenty one damage, half on a on a pass. You got it, buddy. Let me see it. Take twenty one. That'll do it for me. That'll do it for me. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Wait, are you down in, in the cloud? Yes. Uh, have 20 health. He, you <laughs> so, see him yeah. run into the cloud, and then he falls. You hear a metal thud as his armor hits the ground. Peace. <laughs> At the start of the round, it's going to continue to spread another 10 feet. I have wind. I'm raging, but I guess I could drop my rage. Yeah. I don't think it will really matter. I think we should run. Or too late. You should have been running! <laughs> Jack, start your turn in the cloud kill. Make a con save. Um, is that an advantage or no? No. Uh, oh. 20. You pass, you'll take half. Half of 21? 21. Is it always 21? It is right now. Do you really want me to roll right. it again? No, 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 I'm, no. I'm gonna run. To there. I think. Where did you go? I can't remember the lich's name. What was his name? Renwick. Renwick. We are upset. We killed someone. I'm hoping he... <sighs> no one else needs to fall. 
we failed in your task. I was the one who shook your hand. And so I, to coincidences, no one else in my party. So take me, pull back your cloud, and let my party pass. Ezzy, what would you like to do? No matter what I do, I'm down. Uh, no. You still have options. Wait, you're not in the cloud, though. I'm not? Okay. Never mind. I'm yeah, but there's gonna... nowhere to go that's not the cloud. There's nowhere to go that's not in the cloud. Aside from maybe this room in here, which is a dead end. Nope. There's cloud in there. I can probably... Nope. I don't know. <sighs> there's really nothing I can do. Kill yourself above 10 and hope you pass. <laughs> Guess I'm just gonna cure wounds myself. Is that enough? Nope, but you know. But you know, it's fine. Life is fine. That's so, it. 15. And then what do you do? I mean, it's either run straight into poison or just stay where I am and let poison hit me at yeah, this but... point. If you save, you take 10. Would, that... would 10 kill you? No. So you could move in and then out and away from it, like Jack okay. did. Save, okay. hopefully. I can't even move out of it. I'd be stuck in it. There's a there's a path that oh I can't. I can't see it. <laughs> Just gonna move up. Yeah. Sorry, I'm taking forever. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna move up a little closer. So that's okay. How many was that? That was ten, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, so we need to make our con save change. when we move into the cloud. Okay, con save. You do get plus. Doesn't plus matter. Oh. So oh, you, you went through the you went through the uh, thing too. So you get. Oh, oh true. Okay. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't matter. She passed, so she survives. She can run out of the cloud. <laughs> it <Although> heals you. <laughs> Jack ended his turn where the cloud would be going, but whatever. Uh, sin. Making a dash. 5, 10, 15. Don't even bother. She's at full health. 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, you need to make a con save. 45, 50, 50. There's that. So oh. Sin takes the full 21, but doesn't go down and runs out of the cloud. That's the reason I went full movement because I knew it wouldn't drop me even if I failed. Jace? Uh, uh, do I still have my inspiration? Yes, you do. Alright, this should be fantastic. Oh, uh, there should be a action. one because of the healing thing. Because right. it would heal uh, the full health. It healed it would, the... It is, yeah. What it, it heals because I was at like... She it can only choose heal, like, to proc it. That would be number mm -hmm. six. Are you sure you want to heal it oh, for Oh, never mind, never mind, never. Yeah, never mind. No, not really. Oh. I'm gonna get the healing spirit roll, please. Oh, I did it. Three. Thank you. And let's have some fun. That's a pass, I believe. There's my inspiration, but I'm gonna do something. Unless, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Does the 19 fail? No, no, that's a pass. So you'll take 10. Four bucks. He's talking to the stream. That's a pass. You take 10. All 
Are you sure that's where you're going to end your turn? Cloud moves 10 feet every turn. Then I would dash if you're able to. He hasn't taken an action yet. Chase? Oh, I took cure wounds. So I believe. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Clementine, yeah. you start your turn in the cloud. You need to make con save right away. Yep. It's oh. a pass. You're gonna uh, take ten. Okay. I'm still in my fungal entity. Um, right here, she's gonna look at Jack, and she's gonna and she's going to yell, and she's gonna be like, "You get your ass out of this, or you get the you get your butt out of this cloud because I'm not losing anymore." And she had like looked down. Where Arthur had just ran down, kamikaze himself, and you know she took a couple steps over here, and then she's gonna. Oh wait, no, that's. A... Uh, I've already done five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty, thirty-five. Where can she do a cure wounds on him? Because I just I just moved my normal speed. On um, him who? Uh, uh, Jace. Okay. Before you leave, you mean? Yeah, before, like, as okay. I pass by him, I just you take smack him on the shoulder. Yeah, I, I did that already on my, uh... Your token is still showing 12 temporary hit points. It sure is. Alright, uh... The guards, mm. they, they dash. They're no, they are not concerned with you guys in the least. So they, they <laughs> dash and they, they run away from the imminent death that Renwick has unleashed upon the, uh, the monastery. I guess we figured out how to get him out of the castle. Uh, oh Arthur, my goodness, at the beginning of your turn, you get to make a death save and you also take poison damage for starting in the cloud kill. Okay. Here's the death save. Okay, so you have one pass, one fail right now. Okay. Just need to make, I don't know, infinite passes. <laughs> you have to roll the crit. All right, Jack. Yeah. Oh, wait, Jack, before you take your turn, Cloud moves 10 feet. Because you're at the start of the round. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh, it overtakes Jack. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. Feet. And ten feet. Ten feet. Oh, it's poison everywhere. Alright, uh Oops, sorry, Jack. I advanced the tracker for no reason. Jack, what are you doing? Besides making uh, a con save. Con so I say, so I take. Take 10. Oh, there was a new round. I should re roll it. Sure. It's up to you. Sure. Here it comes. It's even less. <laughs> what? Instead of 10, I would take 7, so I add 3 more. Yep. Okay, um. Do I think Gust of Wind would do anything here? I don't know. Do you think Gust of Wind would do anything here? Why are you asking me? I, obviously, he didn't listen to what I had to say. I did listen to what you asked. Do I think if Gus... No, no, no. Do... No, no. If I... When, I, when I sent a message to the Renwick, and he did not listen, so I'm just going to do my thing. Uh, 
and then I will go ahead and cast Gust. Okay. Uh, Gust of Wind pushes the clouds away. Uh, I think it even yeah. says that... Disperses. Disperses yeah. the cloud. Try not to also delete him. Okay. So that that bit of the cloud disperses. Are you still walking away then? Uh, as, oh, as, um, you, as you blow away the cloud, Renwick begins to shout, Leave! You will pay for breaking your word. You are without honor. I will fill these halls with poisonous gas until I have once again my solitude. Leave! Jeez. I'm gonna, on it. I'm gonna keep pushing until I can get to my buddy. So I, I, I would have, I guess, if I saw, I cast it at this point. This is so I would have pushed back to try and get okay and concentrate on this for a minute. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're gonna find we can bring him well, back. You just, you just gotta get to him before he dies, <laughs> and then we're good to do the whole thing over again. Right. <laughs> Can I, can I say something out of turn, or? If you want. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell these three guys to run, and that will retreat old Arthur, me and Jack will, and I'm just gonna look at them all, and I'm gonna look at, I guess this is moral play, but I, I kind of want to, you know, give Nezzy my amulet for the time being. It requires that I just tunement. receive. Does it? Oh, okay, never mind. I was yeah. gonna be like, in case if I don't make it happen. But if you want to give it to her as a memento, that's fine. But you'll lose the benefits right away, and she won't be able to use them. Mm, okay. I I give her something off my staff and like a little talisman from an animal. Yay! <laughs> All right. And I give. So, Nessie, your turn. What are you doing? What's your movement speed? 30. I think that's what I could. How much? forget how much. Dash is 60? It, yeah, it's just double your movement. Double your movement. Okay. Thank It'll you. 60 Sorry. For turn. All right, Sin, uh, also dashing? Uh, do, we're not leaving you. You're coming with us. <laughs> leaving who? Oh, we're going to go. It's okay. The f you remember where the front door is, right? You better be coming back out of this building, I swear. I will. All right. Peace. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jace doesn't care about your plans. He runs for the door. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm going to start making my way towards the door. So I just know I'm just going to move my characters. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You, you do this move. Jace's turn. Yeah, sorry. Right. Do you have anything else? I'm, I'll be right back. Jace will move to here. His good buddy Jack show up. Buddy, go 10 4. Rescue mission. Oh. Alright, Clem? Um. It's dash action. Oh. I'm right on top of. Not. Yeah, I'm gonna get right here and assume that Jack is following with his uh with his win. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, Arthur, death save and a well you get a failed save and a pat or and you a roll. And I roll. Oh. That is it. Arthur is dead. Cause he gets a uh a fail from his roll and then he takes damage from the uh, from the cloud kill. In his 
last moments of lucidity, Arthur is just thinking about this group of adventures and hoping that they weren't foolish enough to come back for him. <laughs> that they made it out. <laughs> 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 he, just, he thinks to himself in his old age he's like well I said, should I Jack? I hope these youngins made it out so that they could keep the story going on when I get to here yes. <laughs> yeah, I can get to this point and uh, uh, blow down the hall yeah, I'm trying to get rid of it so this is 30 feet for me, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oh, wait, I, I see a dead guy. Um, actually, I would have been, been there. And I will just interact with object and grab his body. Start dragging. Yes, 100% dragging. All right. Um... With the cloud kill dispersed due to the gust of wind, um, you can see through the through the door. Uh, there's a small crack that leads in Renwick's study. You can see him beginning to generate mm -hmm. more of that poison cloud. And it's filling sure. his chamber. Cool. Well, I'll keep my my uh, direction this way so it keeps it in. No, it doesn't matter as long as you keep moving. <laughs> And I, I look up at uh, Jace and, and Clem, and I'm like, um, we got to go. I have his body. We'll deal with it. All right. So you guys uh, retreat to the front door, and you find that the stone pillars have been removed, and there's a number of the Cult of the Black Earth running into the Sumber Hills as, as all of you collapse in the space outside of the Sacred Stone Monastery. Um, you just have a moment to, to marvel at, at all the hardships you've had to endure. You can see that the, the cult uh, trying to escape from Renwick's wrath uh, is ignoring you for the most part, uh, seeming to, to scatter and, and uh, disappear into the foothills. And so you guys would be able to, uh, to leave and survive. <laughs> For the most part. To begin to make your way back to Red Larch. And it is 10 o'clock. That's where we're going to have to wrap it for today. <laughs> Oof. Okay, well, I guess we can... Are we at Red Larch now? Or... Alright. Uh, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. If you haven't already uh join us in discord that's where we hang out through the week that's where you need to be if you want to get involved in the game and uh yeah i will see you next time